Dust to Glory Fitness, bringing you warm up number seven. Try to keep things fresh for you. It starts off with three rounds of the following exercises. You're gonna do a Samson stretch to start out with. Looks like this, knees on the ground, front leg, in this case it's my left leg, is gonna go forward, hands on my hips. I'm really leaning into it. Bring your hands out, up above, Look up at the hands as you're leaning forward. You're feeling that in your hips. Lean forward, deep breath in, come back, and you're gonna to twist towards the bent leg and hold that. Then you move right into squats, sit-ups, bend and reach. It's a new one, looks like this. You're going to simply hands underneath between the legs and then reach up, bend and reach. Push up. Or you can go on your knees, four square. No, it's not the ball, but you're going to start out with two legs or two feet at a time and then single leg. Think of it like you're making an X or a cross with your feet. Side, side, you go side again, forward, forward, or backwards, side, side, forward, forward. Then single leg, side, side, back and forth, same thing for the same time, and then the other leg as needed. Steam engine, hands behind your head. Your knees are gonna reach, your elbows rather, are gonna reach for the opposite knee. And you're simply going to steadily move like a steam engine. Then I'm going to do some more static stretching for mobility. First one is a couch stretch. You're going to find a wall or a couch, put one leg out front, in this case it's my left leg, the other leg is my right leg behind, up on the couch or the wall. Get as far as I can with where I feel comfortable. Then my knee is on the ground. I'm going to try to stand up. As I stand up or stand up straight, you feel the stretch in your quad. If it doesn't stretch, hurts too much, you can go forward. If it doesn't, uh, you don't feel the stretch, go a little further back against the couch or the wall. Pike stretch. So with this, I'm sitting down on the ground, hands up over my head, and I'm gonna reach down towards my feet, try to reach my feet and bend over. Now, uh, as you know, coach doesn't have a lot of flexibility in his hamstrings, and this is one no help. If you have a band, or you have a towel, or even a t-shirt for that matter, throw it around your feet and assist the stretch by pulling in towards your body and you'll feel a deeper stretch, lat stretch. So with this, you're gonna need a doorway or a post. In this case, we've got our Dust of Glory Killer post. A lat stretch for doing a lot of pull-ups or even push-ups. You're gonna feel this in here as this will also improve your posture. So I'm gonna start out facing you and I'm gonna put my left arm or elbow up in the doorway or up on a post, somewhere where I have movement, so I'm not up against the wall, facing the wall. My left elbow's in or on the post, leaning in, and then I'm gonna take my left leg and sink it behind me, and then I feel more of a stretch in through my lats. Then, last but not least, if you have a foam roller, I would suggest you use it, what we're gonna do is roll out our IT bands and our quads. Even if you might not be doing running for that particular day, it's still a good idea to do some self-care and get ready for the day. IT band, put that roller down on the ground. I get on the side. And I put my top leg over top to help provide a little bit of weight, or you could lay it across. Put my elbow on the side. I'm up high on my hip. And then I'm going to roll slowly like a reverse rolling pin and you will feel this if you do any type of running, it will feel tight. This is not a comfortable move. You're gonna feel it up along the IT band. Go all the way to the top of the knee and then work your way back down to the top, to the bottom rather, of the hip. And the quad stretch, you can also get down 
on the top of the quad and the hamstrings, opposing muscles. So with the quad stretch, you can put one leg on top, provide a little bit of weight, and really work through that roll all the way again from the top of the quad down to the top of the knee. Get the hamstrings, the knee, the bottom of the hamstring, and work your way up to the base of the glute. You can also get into the piriformis and the glute, where it's called a cross friction massage. And that concludes warm up number seven.